So I'm gonna show you guys. I should just say hi. Hi, how are you? Long time no see. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you my all time favorite. I have so many flyaways going on right now. Um, makeup kind of look right now. Anyway, I'm gonna show you what I've been loving to do. Very natural. There's still a few steps, but I'm gonna prime with the Cover FX Blurring Primer. And I put it on the back of my hand. This is gonna be kind of quick, I would think. And I just kind of mush it around because I don't like it being too, too much. And then I put it kind of here. Not kind of, I put it here. <laughs> There's no kind of, this is exactly what I do. And and some here. Blur all of the stress away. <laughs> and some here and around here. I have something brewing right there, Rachel. I'm gonna have to do skincare tonight, I think. And then I do a little on like the outside of the eye area. Because I'm actually wanting to do some photos today for my Instagram. And the rest are just gonna put it wherever. But there's that first step. Not that you can really tell. But there's that. And then I need to fix this. And then I use this. It's the Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury. And I use it all over my face. Like these. Oh, so vogue. And then I take a beauty blender and I put, I put it all over my face. Then I blend it into my skin. I have a mirror right here I'm looking at if you're wondering. Anyway, gives the skin this really pretty healthy look. You want more put more totally up to you then is my newest best friend this is the milk makeup matte bronzing stick eh. which looks like this which i've used plenty and this is how i use it Like that. This is it. This is the look. <laughs> Just kidding. Alright, so then I take the other side and I blend it in. I put some on my nose and here kind of where the world naturally hits you now I take my Tatcha Pearl in Moonlight and I use this under my eyes to lighten that up and a little here a little there 
little here, a little here. Yeah. Get my Mona's web out of this. And then I use the Beauty Blender again. And I just blend it in. For an everyday, that's kind of what I do. But since I'm doing some photos, I also use my YSL Touche Plat Radiant Touch Concealer in two. And I kind of spruce it up just a little bit more. Lighten all this here. Lighten there and there. Uh, here and some here and some here. Yeah. But mostly here. <laughs> Under the eyeball. So there. And then I just blend it in. Like you normally would. like that now so I use the Laura Mercier which I still have Let me move my sunglasses just the mini one I still use anyway and I take my beauty blender basically for everything and I set under the eyes basically anywhere I went and put concealer so here down the nose around the mouth Kinda. And I use it a little bit to kind of clean up right here. Kind of just do 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 over the eyes. If I could just get my hair to cooperate. And that's that for now. And then I use. Where is my brush? One second. Okay, then I use my favorite brush, which is actually from the dollar store, and it's a powder brush. And I take my butter bronzer, which I finally hit pan in, and I swirl that stuff. Give it a little shaky shake, take the cat hair off, and put it over top of that bronzer. <laughs> and over my nose, on the chin, and bronze the neck. Oh my god. Don't be shy, put some more. <laughs> You know where that's from. Comment. Anyway, there. You look bronzy and gorgeous. Now, I take my Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Wiz and I do my brows. So, let's do the brows. We're going to go like this. We're going to transition and they're going to be done. Sound good? All right. Go like this and then go <laughs> okay done next we take our brow gel whatever one you want to use if you want to use tinted use tinted this one's just clear the one i'm using and i brush them up so they look a little more fluffy and like i don't know not so fake i guess There they be. And then, and then, I take my, where is it? Eyeliner. 
right now I'm using the tattoo liner from Kat Von D, the dagger one, and I'm not exactly the big fan, unfortunately. So I'm going to do my eyes like this. I'm going to go one, and this one. Cat eyes, kind of. Definitely cousins, not sisters, or any relation. Now I'm going to put on mascara, and we will be almost done. So, mascara. Mascara. <laughs> We are going to do our lips now, and I have a combo that I love, but I do it in a weird way. Usually you put lipstick and then your gloss, but I don't with this. I put my Buxom White Russian Gloss on first. Yes. Then I put my Charlotte Tilbury Very Victoria over top it's a very <clears throat> excuse me my lips but better look and then sometimes I'll put more gloss on like that and if I'm feeling extra I will put highlight on and since I'm doing a few photos I will do some highlight all right this cover FX one that I didn't think I would like at all because it's for deep skin I love mixing this and this these two which is the brightener and the highlighter I don't know if you can see it. I will show you in a minute. Okay. Like that. But I'm going to take my beauty blender and just kind of push it into the skin so it looks a little more natural and then if you feel like you are good enough just kind of blend a little more make sure fix your hair and let me show you in the light What do you think? Very natural. Well, aside from the eyeliner, obviously. <laughs> but, I mean, the rest of it is. Skin is. Could use a little more bronzer, maybe. I don't know. But, I think it'll look really cute for the photos. Got a little hat, some boots, a jacket. I also have that look I want to try and do something with. But, here we go. 